In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy chicken parmesan. It's done in minutes. To make this very simple chicken parmesan dish, we need about three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We need salt and freshly ground pepper. And we need some bread, some sliced bread, um, could be a baguette, and some Italian seasoning. I have um, basil, oregano, and rosemary. We're going to make Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. And you need one egg, about two cups of spaghetti sauce, some mozzarella cheese, some Parmesan cheese, and lastly, some spaghetti noodles. The first line of business is to either pound the chicken breast to a quarter inch thickness, but what I like to do is take a fillet knife and just cut them in half. You just go down the center so that you're making them thin and not so thick. After that, you can continue to put them between two pieces of wax paper and pound them further if you need. But what you want is about a quarter inch thickness on your chicken breasts. Once your chicken is flattened and pounded thin, you want to season it with a little bit of salt and generously with some freshly ground cracked pepper. And now we're off to the breadcrumbs. Now you can use um, pre-seasoned or plain breadcrumbs that you get at the grocery store, but I totally prefer making my own at home. They're, they're much better and you have more control over the seasoning. To make the breadcrumbs, it's very simple. What you do is you just take some bread, shred it into some pieces. You're going to want about a half a cup to a cup of breadcrumbs anyway. And these keep for a while. So you just put them into the, a food processor, snap on the lid, and pulse. And just kind of keep an eye on how you want them pretty fine. Once the breadcrumbs are to your liking, what you do is put them in a, a metal bowl and just, you know, there's no real rule of thumb, just maybe a, a teaspoon of each of the seasonings. I like to do basil, about a, maybe a half a teaspoon of oregano since oregano is a, a stronger herb. And also about, uh, I'd say about half to a whole teaspoon of rosemary and I, I like to break it up a bit so it's not in sticks and strands and then what you want to do is just toss this together and that's going to be our breading okay now the fun part we're going to start with our chicken breasts give them a good dip in the egg mixture and then into the breadcrumbs that we just made and you want to give them a good solid coating of breadcrumbs so that they'll kind of set and they remember these breadcrumbs are softer than the dried store-bought ones much better and then we just place them on a rack. Any rack will do so that the breading can kind of set. And then go ahead and continue with the remainder of the chicken breast, dipping an egg and then the breading and placing them on the rack until you got all of them done. Then what you want to do is uh, get a hot skillet going on the stove and melt a little bit of butter and a little olive oil as well. When this is ready, we'll start frying up our chicken. Okay, the pan's nice and hot. We're going to start placing a few pieces of our chicken in here. Just as many as will fit and we'll start cooking away. After a couple of minutes or so we want to give them a flip. They're getting nice and brown and we'll let them continue for a couple more minutes on this side. Okay, this time you're going to want to finish up the batches of chicken and also start your water for the pasta. Once your chicken is browned all the way through and has a nice golden crust on it, go ahead and plate it up on a platter and set aside. Okay, next up we want to get a really high-backed skillet that can hold a lot of liquid and ingredients. And we're going to add our two cups of spaghetti sauce next. Okay, on moderately medium to high heat, we want to go ahead and heat our spaghetti sauce through nice and thorough. It takes a few minutes and you want to keep after it and keep stirring it so it doesn't start to stick. And at this point you want to go ahead and make um, four slices of mozzarella and add a, uh, grate up some Parmesan cheese. So that's going to go on the chicken next. Okay now the spaghetti sauce is bubbling nicely. We want to lower the heat so that it doesn't splatter and we're going to place four of the chicken breasts into the pot. Yummy! And then we're going to grab our cheese Place a slice of mozzarella on each chicken breast right in the pan here and sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan. Not all of it, we want to save a little bit for at the end. Now we put it on completely low heat and we're going to kind of let them settle in. 
and cover on low heat. Okay, when your pasta water is boiling, now's the time to go ahead and add your spaghetti. Dump them right in. I like to add a good pinch of salt to the hot water as well. And then just kind of swirl them around. They'll soften up real quick and all fit in the water. And cook them to your liking. If you like them al dente, go for it. I like to cook them through so that they're nice and soft. And then drain them in a colander as you would normal pasta. I would show you how to do it, but I think you already know. Okay. Now, as you can see, our chicken is done, the cheese on top is nicely melted, the parmesan's melted, and it's just simmering away, it's ready to be plated. Okay, when starting to plate this up, you want to start with a good, nice bed of spaghetti noodles. Let's get some here. Good portion there. Then what we're going to do is add one of the chicken breasts from the pot with all the sauce and accoutrements right on top. Bring in a little more sauce. There we go. Now at the table I like to add a little more Parmesan cheese just to coat those sauce and noodles on the side there. And even though it wasn't in the ingredient list, I do like to find some fresh Italian parsley whenever possible and give it a nice, a nice green touch to the top. And that is easy chicken Parmesan. It's made and done in minutes. Enjoy!